in this video we will discuss the problem number of provinces so the problem says that we have been given a graph which has v number of vertices in it and we say that two vertices u and v belong to a single vertice uh, single province if there is a path from u to v or v to u and our task is to find the number of provinces that are there so a province is a group of directly or indirectly connected cities and no other city outside the group so let us see what they are saying so they are saying that suppose you have let's say one one is connected to let's say two let's say two is connected to three as well so basically you can see that from u you can from one you can reach to two from two you can reach to three okay so in this area you can see that from three also you can reach to two as well as one so this is considered as one separate province okay let's suppose there could be another province like five then there could be a four and there could be six so this will be considered as another separate province because it says that a province is a group of directly or indirectly connected cities and no other city outside this group okay so this is the definition of province like there could be just a single city also that could be a province as well or let's say just two cities are connected to each other like seven and six if these two are connected then they can also act as a province okay so basically you can see that u is connected to v or v is connected to u this is what the term province means like if i see how many provinces are there so this is one province this is the second province this is the third province and here this is the fourth province so that is how we find the provinces now we will be given what we will be given the adjacency list like we will be given the adjacency matrix basically and from that we have to determine that what is the number of province so let us quickly copy the sample test case first so that we can understand this problem better so suppose that we have been given this particular sample test case which looks like one then we have zero then we have one okay so i'll make it here on the left side so we have one then we have zero then we have one okay then we have zero then we have one then we have zero then we have one then we have zero then we have one okay so basically they are saying that the v is three so the number of nodes uh, that are present in the graph is nothing but three here okay suppose like if they give it like this so basically they have given a n cross n matrix which denotes the uh, which denotes the relationship between nodes u to v okay if i talk about this node let's say if i use a one based indexing here actually the indexing will be zero based but for now let's use a one based indexing let's say this is index number one this is index number two this is index three index one okay index two index three actually the index will be zero based but for now we are taking it as one so it says that one is connected to one two is connected to two three is connected to two three that is fine but there is one and other additional information given that one like one is connected to three okay because if in the adjacency list you can see in the adjacency list of one and three is one okay so this means that one is connected to three okay one is connected to three now if we see here also in the adjacency list of three so you can see that adjacency of three and one is equal to one so, so basically that means three is also connected to one okay this is what they are saying so we can see we can observe one thing that this is forming one connected component or one province and if i see here so two is not connected to anybody two is just like this okay it says that two comma two is equal to one so basically two is connected to itself that is this so how many provinces are there there are exactly two provinces existing okay there are exactly two provinces existing so how can we find it so if we see what can we do here so what we can basically do here is we can have a visited visited array the problem is nothing but counting the number of connected components in this undirected graph so what we will do first of all is first of all let me take this as zero based indexing because actually if we are given the matrix so it will be nothing but a zero based index matrix okay this would be the thing like this then what we will do is we will have a visited visited array okay we will have a visited visited array in which what we will do is we will mark all the initially all the nodes as zero okay so we are having 0 1 2 and 3 so we'll declare a visit, visited visited array of size v then what will happen this is index 0 index 1 index 2 initially we'll mark every value as zero okay that is what we will do initially then what we will do is 
we will start we will start our iteration for like initially we will say that the number of province we can say that uh, number of province is what number of provinces is equal to zero initially okay or we can say that our answer or let's take it as province only so we'll initially say that number of province is equal to zero only okay then we will start our iteration okay we will start our iteration like for int i starts from zero okay so we'll start from the zeroth until all the all the nodes okay so i starts from zero i is less than n i plus i is less than v that is the number of nodes the number of vertices that have been given to us and then we do i plus plus okay and if if we see is like initially we'll start from zero so is zero visited no so we will say that if visited uh, of i okay if visited of i is equal equal to zero then what we will do is we will call a dfs call for it okay we'll simply call dfs for it we'll say that okay the number of province increases by one we'll say that province plus plus okay we'll say we'll see how it happens so if when we say province plus plus then what will happen here is if you are saying that province increases so province becomes one here right province will get updated to one and i will say now that i'll call the dfs call i'll call the dfs call starting from this i okay with passing the adjacency list passing the visited array and passing the number of provinces like the number of nodes in the given tree number of vertices basically then what will happen if i have passed this zero okay so i can see in the if i now when i call the dfs so first of all i'll mark it as visited okay in the dfs call i'll mark this as visited and then i will iterate i will basically iterate from for for this particular uh, for this particular current like basically in in uh, now my current what uh, node is what one then i'll iterate in the adjacency list from zero till v i'll iterate and i'll check okay i'll iterate from zero to v basically what i will do here is i will iterate like this like simply what i will do in the dfs function that i have first of all i'll mark visit, visited of uh, the current node as one okay then what i will do is i will iterate like for int i starts from zero i is lesser than v then i plus plus basically i'll iterate through the adjacency list like if there is zero so i'll iterate like this here here i'll iterate through this particular row of zero i'll iterate through the row of zero to check that with what are the vertices with which zero is connected okay that is what i would do here so basically you'll we'll iterate uh, from i starts from zero i is less than v and then i plus plus okay then what will happen i will check that if suppose that the adjacency of uh, the current and i is equal to one okay so is it equal to one and i will check that if the visited if it is not visited okay if the visited of i is equal to equal to zero if that particular node is not visited then i will simply call a dfs call for i comma adjacency list i'll pass i'll pass the visited array and i'll pass v here okay now what will happen when i call this function here so what basically happens if i call it then basically the thing that happens is if i was at like when i see so at actually 0 0 is 1 but it is 1 but it is already visited okay because 0 is already visited so i'll not call for it if i see 0 1 is 0 okay so i'll not call for it it is not connected with me then if i see here so 0 comma 2 is visited right so 0 is connected with 2 basically this means that 0 is connected with 2 basically actually 1 was connected with 3 but here since we are using 0 based indexing actually 1 was connected with 3 but since we are using 0 based indexing so now here 0 is connected to 3 that is what is reflected here okay so now we have counted this as one province okay now if i see so i will call it and i'll mark 2 as visited okay i'll mark 2 as visited so 2 is marked as 1 then i check in the adjacency list when i call the dfs for 2 where 2 is my current node so i call for 2 and then i check it's it's all the rows okay i check for all the nodes for it so if i check so it is 1 this is 1 2 comma 0 is 1 but 0 is already visited so i'll not call the dfs call for it then i check for 2 comma 1 it is 0 so i'll not call for it then 2 comma 2 is actually 1 but 2 is already visited so i'll not call for it okay then what happens i have like i'll come back from that recursive call because i have counted this particular province that is why i counted it once in this uh, in this main function i counted province plus plus because whatever components are connected like let's say if, if there was another node let's say five or something the, if these nodes were connected so all the connected components will be counted as one province okay so if we if if a particular component is connected so when we call the dfs call for it then every no every node or every city in present in that particular co connected component will be visited and we will count it as one province that is why i am doing province plus plus okay then i will check 
So now I, when I come back from the recursive calls, from the DFS calls, because there is no other thing that I can do. So I will come to this one. When I come to one, so I see that one is not visited. If one is not visited, then I'll I'll call for it. Okay, I'll mark it as visited. So I'll call this one. Uh, I'll mark it as vis visited, and the number of province become two. Now I'll iterate like in the DFS. First of all, I'll mark I mark it as visited. Okay, so I've marked it as visited. So I mark it as one. Then what happens? I call for its adjacency list, right? Like I basically check in its adjacency. So this is zero. So no, no matter. This is one, but actually this is already visited, right? One is already visited. This is zero. So actually, since it is already visited, so I'll not call for it. Okay. So that means for one also the DFS call is over. Then after that, I iterate and I is equal to two. So for I is equal to two, it is already visited. So that means that I'll not iterate for it. After that, what happens? My I exceeds. Okay. After that, I have traversed for all the nodes and I have checked for their visited and the number of provinces is nothing but two. So that is how I'm counting it. Like the concept is that I use the concept of adjacency matrix here that is given to me and that helps me to that helps me to mark all the components, all the no all the vertices that are present in the current uh, in the current component that are there to mark them as visited and consider them as one single province. That is why I'm just doing province plus plus and I'm calling for that particular component so that all the nodes, all the vertices, all the cities present in that particular component get visited. As I said, like if, if suppose that there was zero, the zero was connected to one, like it was connected to five, let's say it was connected to seven. So I will, I will count it as one province. Like when I do province plus plus, I mark this as visited, this has vis visited, this has visited, this has visited. Okay. Then what happens? It is counted as one single province. Okay. Then I call for two. So suppose two is connected with three, then province are number of provinces counted are two. Okay. Because one province was this one. Then the second province is this one. Okay. That is how we simply count. So that is how we can simply use the BFS traversal, uh, like DFS. Basically we can use the DFS for counting the number of provinces or counting the number of connected components. You can say in the graph. So what I will be doing here is first of all, I'll, as I mentioned, I'll have a visited array. So I'll have a visited array and that will be of size n like V, V will be the size that is the number of nodes. And what we will do here is we will mark all of them as zero. Initially we'll mark all of them as not visited. Okay. Zero means not visited. Then I'll say that int uh, province is equal to zero. I'll mark initially the province as zero. Initially the, there is no province. Then I'll iterate through the all the nodes. So I will say that I starts from zero. Okay. I is lesser than the V and then I plus plus is what we will do. And if it happens, if the visited, right, if the visited of I is equal equal to zero, if a particular ith node is not visited, then I'll mark, then, then what I will do is I'll say that, okay, this is one such component, which is not visited and I'll mark, I'll first of all do province plus plus, right? So I'll do province. Okay. So I'll do province plus plus I'll increment like basically that is that is basically I'm counting the number of this as one province. Okay. And I'll call the DFS for it so that all the nodes present in this particular connected component or present in the in the province gets visited. Okay. So that I do not visit them again. So what I will do is I'll pass I then I'll pass the adjacency list that has been given to me adjacency matrix basically and then I'll pass what I'll pass the I'll pass here nothing but the visited array apart from this i'll pass the number of nodes that are there okay these are the things that i would pass and then after the recursive call like after the calls are over then we will have the count of the number of provinces because we are updating it so in the end what we will return is we'll return the nothing but the provinces right we'll return nothing but province the number of provinces in the end and what we will do is we'll call a dfs function so void dfs will call and when we call the DFS function for ourselves, so in that particular DFS function, first of all, we'll pass the current node. So that's nothing but int current node. Okay. After the current node, what we will have is we also need to have the adjacency matrix or the adjacency list here in this case. So we'll have it like vector of vector int. Okay. Let's say I'm percent adjacency. Then uh, I will have another thing that is the visited array. So int of visited array is what I have. Apart from this, I have the number of nodes as V. Okay. These are the few things that I have. So once I visit, visit a particular cell, so like visit a particular uh, component node, I'll mark it as visited. I'll mark it as one. Okay. Indicating that it is visited. After this, what I would do is 
I'll iterate as I mentioned. I'll iterate for the all the nodes in in its row in the row of the current cell uh, current node that I'm at. So what I will do is I'll say that int i starts from zero. I is lesser than v as we discussed already. Then i plus plus and I'll check that if it happens that the adjacency of the current node and i is equal equal to one. Okay, if they both are connected, right? If they both are connected and visited of i is equal equal to zero. If it is not visited. In that case, what I will do is I'll simply call the I'll simply do what in that case maybe I can mark the visited of i as one okay uh, or maybe I am doing it later on only so I'll call the DFS call okay uh, and then what I will do is I'll call the DFS call for i I'll pass the adjacency list as well I'll pass the visited array and I'll pass v from here okay then the DFS call for i will be done and it will be marked as visited as well. So that is how the code will work. Let us try and compile to see if it works on the samples. Okay. So we're getting the same output on the samples. You can see three is the number of components. When the test case is zero, 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 everything is zero. So basically, if there is no component that is connected, right? So in that case, you will have a component zero, component one differently, and component two. Like they so basically there will be three different provinces, right? If everything is zero, zero, zero. Let us try and compile this code to see if it gets accepted on the other test cases as well or not. Okay. So you can see that our solution was able to pass all the 121 test cases that are present here and talking about the time complexity of our code. So the time complexity of our code will be nothing but uh, order of uh, v square because for every node we are checking for every node for each and every node we are checking its row. So there are v number of like they, if there is one node then are, then we are checking v, uh, v all the v vertices. Okay so there are v vertices. So for them if in the worst case we are checking v square. Okay, and since we are using a visited array, so the space complexity would be nothing but order of v. In case if you understood this explanation, so make sure to comment down understood in the chat and hit the like button as well. Thank you.